Welcome to the SEM Rush Academy. SEO is an exciting discipline, but it's complicated and there aren't many places that you can go to learn the basics. SEM Rush realized that there was a need for an in-depth training and certification course. So, the SEM Rush Academy was born. They asked me to help with the lessons. So, here I am to walk you through SEO from the technical tactics through content and link building. Each section is broken down into smaller lessons, so each video is typically three to five minutes long. At the end of each section, there's a quick quiz to test your knowledge. So let's jump right in. Before we can talk about everything that makes up SEO, we've got to start with the basics, how the internet and search engines work. Boiled down to the simplest concept, the internet is really just a huge collection of pages that are connected by links. I like to use cities as a metaphor. A website is like a house where each room in the house is a different page on the site with hallways and stairs connecting the different rooms. But the rooms add up to a cohesive whole. You have different houses on the street, but everything in the neighborhood is related. If you add even more houses, you end up with a city. Think of links like roads. They connect the different buildings and neighborhoods together. A big popular website is like a large office building with lots of roads leading to it. It's easy to see and there are plenty of different ways to get there. If you're building a new site, it's like you're adding a new building to the city. Where would you rather have that building? If you're right at the intersection of a freeway and several cross streets, it'll be a popular location that's very easy to find. If you build it way outside of town in the middle of a huge field, no one will know it's there. Back in the beginning of the World Wide Web, when there weren't that many sites, you could only reach a website by typing in the address of the page or by clicking a link from another site. In the early 90s, the web had grown too large to sustain such a simple navigation and discovery process. The first search engines were born. Now users could type keywords into a search engine and receive a list of websites related to the search phrase. Excite, AltaVista, and Yahoo quickly changed the way that people were using the internet. In the late 90s, Larry Page and Sergey Brin were working on their own search engine and they were the first to use links as a signal of authority and trust. When Google was finally released, it quickly became the favored search engine because the quality of the search results far surpassed other options. The search engines created advanced algorithms that analyze hundreds of factors on each website, both on and off the site. The algorithms are constantly updated and adjusted to assure that the search results are the best that they can be. In the next lesson, We'll dig a little deeper and talk about how search engines actually work. 